Michael Davies and his son Jeremy offered their own fields of Hill Farm as the location for the match to take place in September. And with 10 sets of engines and plenty of enthusiasm, it did. And although there were two diesel conversions taking part that weekend, there was plenty of steam providing the power to plough in the fields. It is worth having a look at how what is seen in use today came to be developed in the first place, particularly as the engines and ploughs taking part have, for the most part, the characteristics and mechanisms of those that had been originally developed in the late 19th century. And with the odd exception, the methods of using them had also remained the same as a century or more earlier, in that a pair of steam engines, each equipped with a cable drum or winch, stand on the headlands on each side of a field. From each engine, the cable, often referred to as a rope, is connected to a plough or cultivator. When the gear is engaged, the engine drives the cable drum, winding the cable in and therefore pulling the implement towards it, whilst the other engine pays out its cable. At the end of this pull, the rolls of the two engines are reversed and the implement is drawn in the opposite direction. The engine, not winding in, moves the width of the work along the headland so that bit by bit the whole field can be cultivated. This is a simple and effective process that became the accepted way of utilising the power of mobile steam for ploughing and cultivating. The plots are identified as A to K. So who is on which plot and with what? Plot A is one of four in field one. The engines will be Jonathan Garman's 1916 Fowler BB and the 1870 Fowler single cylinder Margaret, the oldest engine at the challenge, belonging to Andrew Melrose, and they will be using Jonathan's four furrow semi digger plough. Along the field on plot B will be a matched pair of 1918 BB1s. Peter Wilson's 15183 Ajax at one end and at the other will be Michael Davis's 15182 Achilles. They were built and used as a pair. Saturday morning again saw a damp start, and also some late arrivals. David Mariner's Jack of Hearts still on the low loader down at the admin area. Others were making their way up from the farm, such as Alan Sparks with one of his BB1s heading for plot C. By mid-morning, most competitors were still getting their engines and tackle into place. But on plot C, the Sparks team were beginning to set up and get their plough sorted, connected 
and ready for the first pull. as the Daniels McLaren and Basil Gibbons Mercedes conversion had problems getting into the field and onto plot D, they are still getting into position. So we next go up to plot E at the top of the farm to see how Mark Jones with his K7 and Howard Bolton with his BB1 are getting on. Work is well underway here with several furrows already turned. During a pause, we asked Mark how things were going well, we're doing our best. The, 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 uh, the brown bit is at the top, which I think is what it's supposed to be. So, no, we're doing OK. Um, it's taken us about six pulls to get the plough sort of semi set up. This is about the level of our skill now. It's not going to get much better than this, I don't think. So we're going to get on and do a bit now. And, uh, and, and see what it's like. But before anyone can sow or drink, there's a lot of ploughing to do. So that's half the plots visited, and it's clear from the pace and quality of work that this is a real competition. Teams on plots A and D are also now in place and well into producing furrows. Here we have the other diesel conversion. Mark and Jeremy Walker's McLaren Works Converted 1917 Fowler BB, salty. And on the other end is the 16 horsepower BB1 of 1918, belonging to Mike Priestner. And again, after the usual setting up, they were up and running. <laughs> By late afternoon, 
They were well into their plot, a five shear plough producing neat furrows. They were working in a very deliberate and unhurried way, looking to get the very best result. We left them to get on and moved just along the field to what was the steepest hill to cope with at Plot K, where understandably the two big 22 horsepower Z7s have been positioned. These are two of the engines recovered from Mozambique in the 1970s by Michael Davis and David Atkins and others. Although not quite a match pair, they were both built in 1922. Although this is a long steep pull to the top of the plot, the big engines are operating the six furrow plough with ease. They now have a lot to do, so we'll move on to the last plot in this field, plot D. This is where we find the only non-fowler engine at the challenge, the 16 horsepower 1919 McLaren Hero, owned by Charles and Robin Daniel, and the BB Brothers Mercedes diesel conversion of a 1918 XBB1 at the other end. Thank you. 